Hello, so welcome to Frequency Analysis in Hydrology. This is our introductory slideshow, and in the slideshow we are going to be introducing some module content and giving a brief review of the case study location, which is Johns Creek in Newcastle, Virginia. So first of all, a quick roadmap of the module content. So the six topics you see listed here will be covered in four different sections throughout the module, including a first section on the fundamentals of statistics in hydrology, a second section on distribution fitting and uncertainty principles, a third section on flood frequency analysis, and then lastly, a fourth section on low flow frequency analysis. So the first topic, probability and statistics, you're going to answer the question, what's the difference between these two topics and how does it connect to hydrology? For frequency factors, we are going to answer what are they and how they are used in uh, flood and low flow frequency analyses, as well as how they are calculated for each distribution. For uncertainty principles, we are going to answer how do we quantify uncertainty, how do we deal with outliers, and what are the characteristics of stochastic processes. For distribution fitting, we are going to answer what does it mean to fit to a distribution what are the different types of distributions, and how do we decide which distribution to use. For flood frequency analysis, we are going to answer what is flood frequency analysis, how do we complete a flood frequency analysis, and what are the results ultimately used for. For the low flow frequency analysis section, we are going to answer what is a low flow frequency analysis, how do we complete one, and then what are the results used for. So an overview of the learning activities. So the three learning activities you see here are all in the software HEC SSP, which was developed by the US Army Corps of Engineers. The software provides a very easy, almost automated method of doing frequency analyses and makes the process really easy to understand while producing some nice tables and graphs that will be used um, in our applications. Next, we're gonna go over the case study. So our case study is going to be focusing on Johns Creek in Newcastle, Virginia. The period of record is from 1926 to the present, and our data of interest for this site are going to be the annual maximum stream flow data used for our flood frequency analysis, and then daily stream flow data, which we're going to use for our low flow frequency analysis. A character of this area is that it is mostly undeveloped rural land, is about 105 square miles in area, the watershed that is. Um, so a very large watershed. And then here's a link to the Craig County Comprehensive Plan where pages 10 through 12 discuss the county's water resources, which would include Johns Creek. So why did we pick Johns Creek specifically? So first of all, it has a very long period of record. And what we will learn throughout this module is that the sample size of our data um, and in this case, the period of record is representative of the sample size, is going to increase the certainty that we have in our results. Um, the land is practically unchanged by development, so it is a pretty rural area, and not a lot of development is happening around this stream gauge, mostly because it is located within Jefferson National Forest. It is located in a rural county, so Craig County, that has minimal planning or studies actually completed on the area. So there's an obvious need for these kinds of analyses to actually be produced. And also, Johns Creek is actually a very popular spot for paddlers, so they might be an interested party as well. So just wrapping everything up, this module, in essence, is just about frequency analysis. So the gist of what we're going to cover and really our end goal is to answer what is it, how does it apply to hydrology, and really what is it used for? And you can really see those answers summarized here. So it's a method to determine the probability distribution of a certain random variable that is part of a time series data set. It applies because stream flow can be modeled as this random variable. And therefore, we can determine flow magnitudes of different probabilities of exceedance or non-exceedance. And then it's used for a prediction of floods and droughts, which is really important to engineers and hydrologists. And it can inform design decisions and water planning measures.